obviously you were at a disadvantage, shorthanded, but you were never able to find your defensive footing today. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, you know, we started slow, you know, and they're, they're a good offensive team. Uh, we made a run. Uh, I thought the, the end of the second, we played pretty good. We got some activity going. Uh, then we made a run in the third, and then we fell short. We just, you know, I thought guys gave everything they had, and that's all you could ask. And so it was uh, a battle all year, and uh, there was nothing left to give at the end. Nothing left to give at the end. What's up, New York? What's up, you two? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I am Jan, a Knicks fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. You want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit the notification bell. All right, let's get into it. Um, we're going to talk about three things in this video. We're not. It's a reaction video. We're not going to get in depth about the season or anything. That's tomorrow's video. And I'm, I'm thinking about doing live, and I'm if I, if it's a live show, it will be call-ins because I want y'all opinion. I want y'all to call in. Y'all know I'm a one-man show, so I want y'all to call in. If I go live, I want y'all to call in. I want to talk to you personally, my Nick Cave dwellers. I want to get y'all reaction, what y'all think we should do on the offseason. All right, let's jump into this real quick. Y'all see the bracket. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Like I said before, I'm not just a content creator. I am a diehard Knicks fan. I bleed orange and blue. So, yeah, I wanted to make a game, I mean, excuse me, a video right after the game. But emotions, emotions, emotions is a killer, boy. Let me tell you right now, this, this relationship with the New York Knicks got my emotions on high, got me running high. Uh, 130 to 109. Um, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Matter of fact, it was worse. Jalen Brunson, broken hand. We'll get into all that. We'll get into the, all that in a little bit. But let's just talk about the game, how it went, my reaction. Tibbs, y'all yes, seen the thumbnail. No Eastern Conference final, no extension. He have to prove it. We have to go through next season, and he have to prove that he can run up offense, not just be such, uh, as y'all say, a defensive guru. <laughs> I'm laughing because the paces, 67% playoff history, field goal percentage, never been done in an NBA playoff before, 67%. <laughs> Reactions sound like ranting, but no, no, it's not ranting. I'm just a little, I don't know what I'm, I'm a little of. There's a lot of emotions, like I said. There's a lot of emotions going on in this body right now, and this diehard Nick fan, the Knicks cave. We are not feeling good about this this loss. We had victories of grandeur, grandeur. You know, we thought we was going to the NBA Finals, and a lot of y'all did too. But 67% the pace is shot from the field. You know what I'm saying? 3 points, 13, 13, 8. It was, you know, the, the shooting. Uh, we knew coming into this series, the Pacers was the highest scoring team in the NBA. And a lot of y'all had faith in the defensive guru, Tom Thibodeau. I really wanted the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm not going to lie to you. I really wanted the Bucks. Um, but we still could have beat the Pacers. This still was a series we could have beat if the coach would have made some adjustments. You know what I'm saying? Slow the slow the paces down. He wasn't going to slow the paces down, trapping and double teaming. You know what I'm saying? We could have went to a two, two man, three man, two, three, two, three zone, two, three zone. You know, some excuse me, got caught up there. <clears throat> could have went to a two, three zone. And I think that two, three zone would have slowed the paces down. You know what I'm saying? Personnel wise, <laughs> again, um, what can I say? Burks, I know a lot of y'all was hot. A lot of y'all was giving Burks to, you know what I'm saying? I, I said a few things about Burks, but I also say he still needed a chance to be on the floor. I, what my, my point was that coming in the game for five minutes, what do you expect a player to do? Now, you're going to say he threw in some players tonight, the game, but these guys are not used to playing with each other. These guys was there in the headlights. 
moments for these guys because you do them in it's all like okay let me jump back a little second i'm tired of that cliche the next man up the next man up yes i i, I kind of do believe in that you know what i'm saying but how do you expect the next man to be ready when the next man not getting playing time at all you know what i'm saying at all no game time experience this is not football you know what i'm saying where you know if you understand what I'm saying, this is not a football game. This is not a baseball. This is basketball. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a, a feel, a groove. You have to be feeling the game. You got You just can't jump in and sit there. Football, you come into the game, you sit in your position, you wait till the players call. Basketball is constantly movement, uh, knowing where your, your, your teammate is going to be, knowing how your teammate like the ball passed. It was no gelling throughout the season. You know what I'm saying? And every time a player went down and a player stepped up, and we're like, yeah, when we root for that player. But what we forgetting is that that player could have been playing the whole time. Eight-man rotation, nine-man rotation, seven-man rotation. Carlisle used 11. He's down there and used his whole bench. When a player wasn't playing up to par and he think he couldn't do work or whatever the case may be, he went to somebody else. He went to somebody else. This is what I'm talking about, adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. All right, let's talk about Brunson, what he gave us this year. Um, I still have, like, y'all seen my last video. I said if Brunson didn't come out and make the adjustments, as, like a true leader well, should, the Knicks wasn't going to go anywhere. He came out and tried to be that superstar. I know he, he got to get himself going, but there was a lot of times that, you know, in this game, in the last game, and honestly, in, this, in game six, we could have won that. We could have won game six. I don't care what nobody say. We could have won game six if we would have went away from the isolation. And as a player, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I want to be the star. So I, I can't blame Jalen Brunson because he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's doing his job. Let's just, let's just be real. He's doing his job. So there's no blaming Jalen Brunson at all. There's no blaming him at all. If he's doing his job, he's going out there doing what he's supposed to do, putting up points. But tonight, he wasn't putting up points. In game six, he really wasn't putting up points. My thing with Jalen Brunson is, okay, go out, take two shots, take three shots. You you, you ain't get it. Pass it. You know what I'm saying? Pass the ball. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get the defense from attacking you. Let them know that you're going to distribute the ball, that you're getting rid of the basketball. That's another thing that killed us. While we play in isolation, other teams, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just focus on the paces because I'm kind of talking about the throughout the season. But most of the teams, well, the paces move the basketball. And, and the style of defense that we play is no way in hell. It's no way in hell we're going to keep up. We was lucky. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with you. This 50 game season, I have to fall onto Draymond Green. And I have to think about it. Was it a fluke? Because I'm being real. I, I complained about this defense even in the wins. So I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to let some of you talk about, oh, I'm only saying that because we lost the game. No, I complained about this defense when we won games because I've seen it coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm a psychic. No, I'm not no Nick of Diamonds, nothing like that. But i seen this coming. i definitely seen it coming. Excuse me for a second. I've seen this coming. You cannot play this style of defense. You cannot play a certain amount of uh, players and expect them to be at tip-top form throughout the season. I said it once. I said it before. This is what happened to Derrick Rose. And a lot of you, a lot of you do not agree with me. And I, and I understand. I understand, you know, you know, you don't want to see it that way. You, it's, 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 it's the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? We was having a good year. It's Tom Thibodeau. I don't know. I because I'm stuttering. I'm I'm all over the place right now. Like I said, emotional. But um, I don't understand. Well, I guess I can. But to a extent. The support of this coach, um, and, I, and, I, and I said, I'm gonna say it again. It's the talent we have. 
and we can be much better if we had a better coach. And I'm just going to say it like that. If we had a better coach, the New York Knicks would be a better team. We would be going into the Eastern Conference Final. We probably would be the number one seed in the East if we had a better coach. With the talent that we have on this team, and I know a lot of people talking about, old oh, blah, 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 Boston. You want to talk about Miami. We have talent on this team. And even the players that we trade away, you know, I'm not talking about RJ. Some can say, hey, man, you quickly. But I'm going to talk about a player like Malachi fan. And a lot of y'all going to say, well, if he's so good, how come he's been around? Because the man, they haven't been a coach to really give the guy, the kid, a chance. I think having Malachi Finn coming off the bench, the points, he couldn't have been our TJ. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at it. You see, this is what I mean about coaches and not playing players to their full potential. To their full potential. So Tibbs is not the only coach that's guilty of that. There's a, quite a few coaches, but I'm not worrying about them other coaches. I'm worrying about the coach that coaching the New York Knicks. And I've been saying it throughout the season that this guy, this guy, man, this guy, this guy, man, he's he's a, he's an assistant coach at best. I'm gonna be real. And it's time some of you, sometime is. Time, some of you start being real with yourself too. That Tom Thibodeau is nothing more than an assistant coach, a def, a, def, a defensive um, assistant coach. And let's be real, that defense is outdated for the way the game is played today. The defense is outdated. You can't be forcing guys to long twos because guys don't take long twos no more. The, the league take threes. You know what I'm saying? We always hear the announcers talk about if the guy get a mid-range jump shot, he'll be a superstar. There, there are no mid-range takers no more. I mean, it's a rare time you see a guy take a mid-range 12, 15-foot jumper. Everything is three-pointer or cut to the basket. And the defense that Tom Thibodeau runs, it pushes you to long twos. Today's we take threes. And when we move that three-point line out, another extra two feet from the original spot and guys are still hitting it on a consistent basis. That goes to show that this defense cannot compete in today's fucking game. That's, that's real. So what I'm trying to say to you that time to leak time to be time to be is obsolete in today's goddamn NBA. He's a, he's an antique. That's the best way to describe him. Now, we're going to end this show talking about the rotation because we was hype, man. We was hype. You know what I'm saying? Judging by the response of my video, a lot of people was looking forward to seeing Ananobi and Josh Hart play. Ananobi came out. He gave us how many minutes Ananobi plays? Give me one, give me one second. Excuse me for a second. Ananobi played four minutes. Four minutes. I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. He's going to come out, try to give him, give him his best and not be able to comp you know, complete the whole game. But this is when the coaching takes takes in hand. This is when the coaching comes in. Don't start him. Don't start him. You know what I'm saying? Don't start him. Bring him in when they bring in their second unit. I know he couldn't go, but let's see what he can do. Don't put him, don't, don't start him right back. Do not start a man coming off an injury like a hamstring against the other team starters. That goes to show you where your coaching mentality, where your coaching level is at. I'm just being real. Because you're working him back into the system. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be able to keep up with the starters. That's why they're starters. These are the best players on the team. Let him come in on the second unit. See how he's running. All right. Again, Miles McBride, when you made that switch and um game five that brung us back in the second half, bringing McBride, starting him. Why didn't you start him in game six? Why didn't you start him in game seven? I don't understand this. Like if you see something that work, why don't you stick with that? This is what I mean about Tom Thibodeau coaching ability. I don't know if it's his coaching ability or is, it, or is it just ego that is my way and my way work. If it don't work, the damn, the hell with it. You know what I'm saying? The hell with it. I don't know. I'm being real with you. But what I do know that tonight, well, today at the Garden, the Indiana Pacers put on a show. Uh, it was embarrassing. Halliburton 
You can't have a player as on, like Miles on him. He's too small. You had other guys like Jeffries. You had Sims, DRQ. I'm like, I'm just what I'm talking about. I know y'all talking about, oh, these guys are bums. We're not bringing these guys in for offense. He's supposed to be a defensive specialist guru. He's supposed to have these guys ready. Like he said, next man up. So he's supposed to be bringing these guys in for defense. And that's to stop Hallenburton. Because uh, Jeffries is about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, that can be, uh, you know, an uh, obstacle for Hallenburton. You don't think that way? Now that you got one of these guys running around with Halliburton, that frees up Miles McBride for the offense. That frees up Jalen Brunson for the offense. Where is the coaching? This is what I'm talking about. No Eastern Conference, no extension. Because I don't see it. Man, listen, man. Listen. This is, this, this. <laughs> This right here is a testament to his coaching ability. Come on, y'all. We got to be real, man. We have to be real about this coach. And I'm telling you, if we had Randall back, I don't think we'd have made it out of the um out of the first round because it would have been crazy. It would have been just too much isolation. We go away from the isolation when Jalen Brunson sit down and a lot of people said the Knicks offense is stagnant because once Jalen Brunson sit down and his isolation – the team already know. They already know, okay, we're going to trap Dante and what else they're going to do. There's no other plays drawing up. After the, after they run the front one, play one, there's no plan B. Well, I don't see it. Do y'all see it? Tell me. I don't see it. And this is why the offense is so stagnant. There's nobody cutting to the baskets. There's no picks where a person rolled off and go to the basket. Like, even look at the defense – why do you have three people on Halliburton? You know what I'm saying? You look where, like, we're watching the replays of this, this video right here. Look where um, Miles McBride got to come. The trapping, yo, no Eastern Conference final, no extension. That's how I feel. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and peace.